All right, let's talk about how to install plugins in Vim. So I use Vimplug right here, and you might have heard of a whole bunch of different uh, plugin managers for Vim. You might have heard of Pathogen. You might have heard that you can just install your own plugins. And there's just a million and one different plugin managers for Vim, but Vimplug is still the most performant and easiest to use one that I've found so far. The syntax is really nice for installing all of these, and it just makes working with plugins inside Vim a real breeze. So let me just walk you through how to install it real quick. And it is very simple. All you have to do is download this file right here, plug.vim, and put it in your auto load directory. And so let me just open up terminal here. That's going to be inside your Vim directory. By default, it's going to be .vim. And then you should have a folder in here called auto load, or you can create it. And you just put it in your plug.vim file right here. That is all there is to it. But if you're too lazy for that, you can just type in this script right here, which will basically do what I just described. Create the folder and put this script from GitHub into it. You can run this for NeoVim because the folders, the default folders for NeoVim and Vim are different. Or if you just want to have it automatically done, say maybe you have a new machine and all you want to do is import your VimRC and have everything automatically installed for you. You don't want to manually have to type in this command every single time. So you would just add this script to your vimrc and then whenever you start up your vim it'll automatically download and install this plugin manager right here. Alright so however you want to install this I'm going to assume you have it installed now. Let's close this out and let's open up your vimrc file and please excuse the mess that I have in my vimrc. I've been meaning to clean it out but I haven't yet so just bear with me for now. But here are all of our plugins right here. And first things first, you're going to need to have two lines right here for sure. So these are basically just wrappers around all of your plugins. You need these commands in order to make it work correctly. And you can just copy and paste these from the GitHub right here. I will leave a link to this in the description. Uh, you can just copy and paste this. And finally, this is going to be where your plugins are stored. For me, it's the default.vim slash plugged. And you can also change this to your NeoVim directory if you want. But once you have these, you can start installing plugins with this syntax right here, capital plug, and then the GitHub repository where the plugin is located. So these are all GitHub repositories. If you look here, so I have a Vim plugin right here. And what you can do is just copy everything after GitHub. So the username and the repository name, paste it in here and then Vimplug will automatically download and install this in the directory that you chose for you. So you don't have to download anything from GitHub yourself. It makes it very easy. And so let me just show you how to do that real quick. And that's with the command plug install. Let's hit that. This pops open and installs everything that you have here. Obviously this took very fast because these are already installed for me, but this will take a little bit longer if it's your first time. So that's already very easy. Let's push Q to exit that. And then another useful one that you'll use a lot is plug update. So of course, these are updated all the time on GitHub and it'll automatically pull all the latest versions from GitHub. Let's run that. Now these are all up to date because I actually just ran this, but if there are updates and there are updates quite frequently, you can push the D key and you can kind of see the change log for each of these plugins. So it'll bring up the latest Git commits and then you can scroll through and see all the commits that were made to each of these. Most of the time it'll just be some small minuscule change that doesn't really matter. Like they update the readme or something like that. But it is useful to have in case you want to see what exactly is being changed in all of your plugins. But once that's done you can just quit out of this as well. And let me just explain a few of these commands that we have at the end here. So if you want to make your Vim experience a little bit more performant, a little bit faster. A lot of these plugins you don't really need every time you start up Vim. So for example, this nerd tree command. Nerd tree doesn't really need to be loaded until I actually run the nerd tree command. And if you're not sure what nerd tree is, it's just this sidebar right here that shows all the files and folders in your directory. But we only actually need that whenever we want to use the command. So this on command it basically says only load this whenever the nerd tree toggle command is run. And so you couldn't see it when I pulled it up, 
but behind the scenes it was only loading this plugin once I ran the command and not before. So that saves time on the startup. Maybe it's only a few milliseconds, but I like my Vim to be really snappy whenever I type it in. I like it to start instantly, not wait seconds for everything to load. And I don't have that many plugins to be honest, but if you had do dozens of plugins, then it can make a big difference in your loading times. And next up, we also have this for command right here. And so this Goyo right here is a plugin that I basically only use for Markdown. So it's kind of like a Zen mode for your Vim. It makes things nicer for writing, but I don't really need it for writing code. I'll only use it for writing. So it doesn't really make sense to load it for anything besides a Markdown. So on a Markdown file, it will load, but if you're working with anything else, it just won't load. So that'll also save a few milliseconds as well. Maybe it's not a big deal for you, but it's just nice for me to have a little bit faster loading times with Vim. And then finally, you can set a branch on GitHub that you want it to pull from. This one is the release branch. There's a few more commands that you can put after in Vim plug as well, but these are the ones that you'll use the most. And finally, let's talk about how to uninstall plugins as well. So I actually want to replace this NVim colorizer right here. I found a better plugin that I want to use instead. So let's just delete this right here. Save this. I'm not sure if we have to restart Vim, but let me just see. So we can run plug clean, and this will remove all the unused folders. Let me just run this. Okay, it's not registering, so let me just close out of Vim and start again. It'll give me this little error because I haven't actually uninstalled it yet. So let me do plug clean once again. And it'll ask me if I want to delete these directories. I do, so let me just hit yes, enter, and they're now gone. Quit out of that. And now we can restart this and, okay, I was giving me this error and that's just because I still have this right here. Let me just remove that and now, okay, it is officially gone. We have no more issues. The plugin folder has been removed and uninstalled. And let's just go and install a new plugin just for an example so you can see how it looks whenever you install one. And let's grab this new one, this Vim Hexo Kinase. I have no idea how you pronounce that, but we just want this right here, the username and the repository name. And so we actually want to do one more thing with this plugin specifically. I guess this is as good of time as any to share one more command that can come in handy. And that's this do command that you want to have for this plugin specifically. Because after you install it, you want it to run this make command just to build the plugin correctly. And so if you just pull it down and don't make it, then it's not going to work correctly. So this do command is saying after you download it from GitHub, run this command in order to make everything work. And so if you have some script that you want to run after you download something, you will do it with this do. So let's just save that. I forget if you have to restart this or not, but let's just do it for good measure. And then just run plug install. Run that. Give this a few seconds for it to actually run. And it has to make everything. And we're done. So it has installed a new plugin. And I think that'll start working right away. You might have to restart Vim again. Just, if something's not working, just restart Vim because that solved some problems for me in the past. That's gonna be how you install, update, and uninstall plugins inside Vimplug, which is just my favorite plugin manager. I highly recommend it. Now go out and install some plugins.